Hi everyone, my name is Megan and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry for the delay on videos, I don't, you know, I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> yeah, so, if you remember, this is my kind of like, oh who skin tone set character that I made in a video a couple weeks ago. Um, yeah, I really liked her, so I started drawing her more. I don't know what page she's on, like, I'm just gonna see it. So, like, I started drawing her more, and then I started doing stuff with my characters Willow and Stella, which are these two right here. Um, and I made this video as well, talking about some of, like, my character design process that I go through for, like, picking colors and um the help of you guys actually i decided to go with this yellow i was like i need to include her in my story um <laughs> so her name my ofu girl her name is actually zola so i think it's her like full name yeah her full name is zola sage she is going to be in my story with Stella and Willow and Caspian. These three. She's going to be part of the main cast, which I'm very happy. Um, and I know what she's going to she's gonna do, but I'm not going to tell anybody because that will spoil. Here, if you're wondering, here are all their names. Um, I don't know if I've like ever really like said it out loud. I know I've posted it on Instagram. I don't know if I've actually said it out loud. So I thought, I made this, I did this drawing of the four of them. Originally, I did name her Zosia, but I just kind of kept thinking of Zola for some reason. So like I went with Zola and I drew her like with her hair up right here and I really liked that. So that's going to probably be how her character design actually is just on the one i'm gonna color today i drew this <laughs> well, that's why there's markers separated all over my desk so they're just the different colors for everyone so i posted on instagram this color test and this is probably going to end up being stella's colors i really like these colors and i think they i think the skin and the dress work pretty well together um so yeah here's stella i have not drawn suki recently very often like at all and if you're wondering if you don't know if you haven't heard of this story i'm gonna be talking about it today which i'm very excited to do but you can also watch some of my other videos which are just like my inktober videos from inktober um that were obviously from october that i talked about stella specifically in fact these three characters did not exist when I made those videos about Stella and Suki, but everything I said in those videos are pretty much the same. Um, I don't know if I've really changed anything. I haven't really looked back on my video, so don't quote me on that. But if you want to go watch those videos, um, you can, but I'll probably be saying like the same information in this video. So yeah. Um, before we get into it though, this is um, just cardstock. I don't really, I haven't ever tested markers on this, so we'll see how that goes. Hold on. This is really bothering me. And um, I decided to draw this and ink it beforehand so I can just kind of like color it in while I talk about the story and everything. Um, and speaking of, I did the line art with this black micron in 0.2 because I really wanted to do it in um black line art because then it could kind of not like because usually when i line art i um line art in different colors but i thought it would be like a little clashy if i use different colors so i just decided to go with black overall and um for some reason i wanted to use a micron because i do have black microns i just never use them because most of them are running dry but this 0.2 worked just fine and I did not do a very good job of erasing, obviously. But yeah, this is kind of going to be like a more talking um, video. So I'm going to be explaining basically the stuff I know about their story so far. Except not giving away like the end. Um, 
Yeah, but first, I just wanted to say, um, I'm actually in the process of making a new desk setup. So if you watched my room tour, you would know I have a desk on the other side of my room that has, like, makeup on it. Like, makeup, my... For real? <laughs> Sorry. And it has, like, my makeup mirror and everything, but I decided I don't really use it. Like, I use it, like, once a month, maybe. Like, even less than that, probably. I don't even know. Um, so I decided I'm gonna convert it to my filming area, so... Um, when I film, I'll probably just move whatever I'm using. So, like, if I'm going to use, like, my markers, I'll probably just, like, collect my markers and then bring them over, you know? Yeah, I'm very excited about that. So, I don't know when I'm actually going to start working. I'm probably going to do it this weekend. But, who knows? I also- Ooh, I think I just spilled it. There we go. I also have tea. So, if you have something you like to drink, um... Go ahead and drink it and I also make pizza so. so I'm just gonna start or I'm gonna go left to right um and I'm gonna start with like the I should not have this here um, I'm gonna start with the basics of the story but first here are the colors I have picked for Caspian they are like basically the same except for the actual skin color because I moved I actually the skin color I used for Caspian before is the same skin color I'm using for Stella so I didn't want them to have the same one. But um, these are basically the same colors. Ex um, or these ones are like the same colors that I used in my character design video with Caspian. So I'll start with the basics. So their story takes place in the future. I'm not sure how far in the future, but it's going to be pretty far. The main inspiration behind this story um, was the Salem Witch Trials, actually. So I had just been, like, I had literally just created Stella. Um, I created her over my fall break when I was in Idaho. She was, like, very fresh in my mind and she was very new and I was drawing her a lot. And I was kind of inspired by drawing with Waffles because she had posted, like, some Inktober story stuff. Um, let's see if this bleeds through my desk. <laughs> So she was kind of like posting about her in October's story. So I kind of got inspired by that and I created Stella. Like, I mean, a lot of people make witch characters because it- Oh, this is bleeding, isn't it? Cool. The line art is bleeding. Um, because it was Inktober, October, you know. A lot of people create witch characters and I was like, I want to do that. So. I made Stella and I made Soupy, which is kind of like her cat companion, um, and I was really happy with that. And I was like, what if I just kind of like start writing a story or like start making like random, <laughs> random like details about like a world she could live in. So I, I did, um, <laughs> so I made her a witch. I, and I go like, <laughs> and I gave her the cliche like witch's cat. She well, not really cliche. She has a black and white cat, which is kind of modeled after my own cat. Um, there's a few changes, but for the most part, it's supposed to kind of be like my cat. I think at first I had actually created like the um, ultimate thing, like where one witch or something can become the ultimate of the world and like people born without witch powers or, are um called the averages of the world i don't know where i got that i just kind of pulled that out of nowhere um the blending on this paper is not going <laughs> real great um <laughs> i kind of just made that like a thing and then as I was writing, like, I was just kind of, like, writing what came to my head and, like, what first came to my head. And it was that if you're a witch, you cannot date an average, that kind of thing. And that's kind of how I got Stella's premise. <laughs> For her. Yeah. Stella, I actually went through and answered, like, in-depth questions about her, like, 
ranging from like I can't even remember but it was like a hundred questions and like I was writing multiple sentences for each and it took me multiple weeks to actually answer all the questions for her but it was honestly like so much fun because I had never gone that in depth into like a character analysis character development so it was really fun and I really want to do it for my like, the rest of my characters well, maybe not all of them because I have a lot, but probably I'll probably do it with the other three in this picture. Um, just because it was actually like I feel like I know Stella so well. It's like questions about like very personal stuff, like um, how was their childhood, like how was the relationship with their parents, and um. Have they ever been in like a real relationship? How, like, do they have friends and stuff like that? Um, and there's more to that. There's like different categories, but I really got to play up like Stella was like alone. Um, so yeah. But anyways, back to my my original point. I had created started creating this kind of story over break, and um, then I, I go back to school after my like little fall break, and. <laughs> We were learning about Salem witch trials and we were reading The Crucible and I was like, this is like fate, I guess. Um, and that gave me inspiration to act the actual like background of the story and that's why I set it, decided to set it in the future. Um, because as I was reading that, I was like, they did, they really just did not like witches. And um, so I kind of made it that... Witches are now running the world um, in the future. That um, now they don't live in fear and they aren't executed. Um, so now they kind of rule the world. And if you're born without a witch pepper, you're just average. Um, so that's kind of where I got that idea. So I guess school helped me with something. Uh, <laughs> but for a while that was kind of like all I had until I started doing actual like character development with Stella because I wanted her to meet someone so that they can kind of like help her but I just didn't know how and I when I created the whole like idea of somebody being like having power over the universe um that's kind of like when I thought of them, like the witches in like areas talking about like um, how to actually like, I don't know. Um, I don't quite know all the details right now, uh, how I'm going to play it off, but like I want them to have like these witch meetings and Stella's parents, I'm going to have them drag um, Stella there and she just one night leaves. I actually have that written, that chapter written. Oh, yeah, I guess, um, yeah, I have a few chapters, or, like, not, like, full chapters, I would say, but just kind of, like, random snippets, I guess, of, like, random things that have had pop in my head, but I just kind of want her to, like, live in a city that is, has, like, averages and, um, witches, but she's, like, alone her whole life, because her parents really aren't there for her I would say um they're more focused on becoming the most powerful and I guess I could say this um now but because at the beginning when I first started kind of like writing this and kind of like got getting interested I thought like at the end the main kind of like conflict was going to be with her parents um like, I still want that to be, like, a factor in the story, but it's not going to be, like, the main drive, I guess. What I'm thinking of doing is a little cliche, so I mean, like, <laughs> I guess it's not really <laughs> any better, but, but what I have in mind is a little more, like, I don't know, I don't know the word, <laughs> just a little better, but, um. Yeah, so I kind of want her to like meet Caspian by accident and then him kind of bring her out of her shell. 
because she for she's like 16 I think in the story um I think well, at least at the beginning I don't know like decided like her birthday or anything no but at the beginning she's very alone like very very alone and I kind of want Caspian and that's like kind of where I got the idea of Caspian but Caspian is an average he's not a witch or wizard I don't know really what the difference between a witch and a wizard is I need to do some research on that I did at the beginning but I think it just said that they're like the same thing they're just gendered um like a witch is normally referred to as female and wizard is normally um male but I'm not quite sure about that like so I kind of just want Caspian to be there and um yeah she doesn't care that Caspian is an average I kind of want her parents to care, um, <laughs> mainly because that would just like make her want Caspian more, I guess, um, but also make her realize how much her parents suck because they never pay any attention to her. It's mainly why she was alone because she never went to school because in my world, at least, which is kind of can gain um like um intelligence i'm not very intelligent um <laughs> they can kind of like they just kind of teach themselves things so they don't really need school unless they want to like up their powers and stuff but stella never cared about her powers or anything because her parents never really taught her anything I think probably I would give her like a wand or something. Maybe. So, yeah. I don't know quite how Willow and Zola are going to actually like meet Stella, but she's, uh, I do know they're going to be best friends. Well, I mean, probably use a chisel um willow and stella are gonna be best friends i think um zola is just kind of kind of be there because uh, <laughs> i was like what if zola was willow's sister I thought it would, she would like fit in better if there was like a like a forced relationship there. Um, by forced, I mean like sibling relationship. So that, cause I don't know, I just felt like she might go better. Go better. <laughs> I thought it might make more sense, you know. So yeah, they're sisters, um, and also, Willow is a witch, <laughs> and Zola is not, and that's gonna play a big factor in the story, um, I don't know if I'm really giving anything away, I don't know, <laughs> yeah, also I have not done any, like, character design work for Caspian since that video that he was in. So I really need to do that. <laughs> this character design is kind of funky. I, I don't know how much I can actually say, say about Stella that I haven't said and that I don't want to like spoil. <laughs> um, I love Stella, honestly, and um, she's probably one of my favorite characters that I've ever made. Apart from Willow, I love Willow so much, and um, yeah, both of these are like my favorite characters, which is sad because they, like, I never really meant for Stella to actually be become anything. Oh gosh, this much is done. Um, but she did. <laughs> I'm not mad about it though, because I love Stella, and I think she's a great character 
Um, she's just, um, she just wasn't raised by good parents, so she just doesn't have a lot of confidence. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Oops. I forgot my character stuff for Stella. It's right here. Hold on. Just leave my face like that for a second. This is, oh yeah. That's not really anything. Um, so, yeah, this is all. <laughs> All oh, this stuff. Oh my god. There are so many questions. It was four or five different sections of 20 questions. 25 is five. So there's a personality profile, emotional profile. Physical profile, preferences, and views, and history. As you can see, I so that's all one question too. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. it literally took me multiple weeks to do this, but I feel like I learned a lot, and I would definitely recommend doing something like this for your characters because I learned so much and like I was kind of making stuff up as I went but, um, I was able to kind of make like um I was kind of able to make everything make sense in a way if that makes sense um, so like I had known from the start that Stella was going to be a very lonely person um and that she wasn't going to have any friends at the beginning of the story and that she only had her cat. That's basically all I, like, that's just kind of what I went off of. And that is kind of like what I went into those questions with. And I kind of just went from there. So when it came to like a question about like her friends, <laughs> I was just like, well, she didn't have any for a long time and she was alone and yeah there's a lot of or uh, like i think the history portion of it there was a lot of questions about um childhood and like childhood friends and it was so sad for me to write that she didn't have any friends that she was all alone for her childhood she spent it alone with her cat which like it just like i don't know it just kind of made me love her even more uh, and I thought, probably why she's like quickly becoming like my favorite character I've ever created her in a while. But it's also kind of sad because for a long time, like a long, long time, my favorite character of mine was Charlie. And if you watched my early, or like my first video, which was a sketchbook tour, she's in that video. And she's even in my sketchbook tour from a couple months ago. She's in both, I think. Did I even draw her last sketchbook? I honestly don't think I drew her last sketchbook. I haven't drawn her in this sketchbook, my current sketchbook, I know that. Charlie was also created a year ago yesterday. She was created on the 10th of June. June? Are you kidding me? January. Gosh. Um, so she just hit like a year of being created. Oh my gosh, I haven't drawn her in so long. This is stressing me out. Yeah. But yeah, I'm very excited to write this story. I've kind of been putting it off for I don't even know why. Um, I think I'm just scared. Because <laughs> obviously I've never written a book before. And like I'm also like don't know like what I'm actually doing. I still need to do some like story prep and everything, um, kind of like figure out what's actually happening and like get all like the kind of basic ideas down because like I know like what's kind of gonna happen but I need to like do it more like officially and I also need to know or find out 
what format I'm going to make it in, whether it's a um, actual novel or like more of like a graphic novel, novel, not novel. I also want to do some more character design stuff for these characters, kind of give them different outfits. Um, because at some point in the story, I'm gonna have Willow give Stella a makeover because that just has to happen. Like, I decided that a couple weeks ago, and I don't know, I'm just obsessed with the idea of Stella in a cardigan. Um, I think I drew that in the video, actually. But that's like, I don't know, I just have random ideas for like weird points in the story, like just random points all over or like yeah random points in the story like all over the place like no like real like solid ideas so just kind of like Stella um Willow giving Stella a makeover at some point who knows when that's actually gonna happen but I kind of want Stella to cut her hair um because that was a question on the thing too it was like her hair history um like what kind of hairstyles has she had and I literally put <laughs> she's had like this the same hairstyle the same like dark gray almost black hair her whole life just and it's been long and she gives her tr herself trims every so often but it's like long like I don't know why it's been so long like goes almost to her butt um yeah and she's like five I think I made her like five two Five three maybe one of those. Um yeah. I also want Willow to be really tall. No not really tall, but like taller than Stella, which isn't hard, but I don't know what else like I wanna talk about. I don't I don't know. Um trying to think. I really don't know what else to talk about because I can't think of like anything else like for my like story related that I can actually talk about. Um, I will let you know that maybe next video, maybe. Um, don't hold me on that, but I'll be talking about again maybe um, video on my 100 head challenge. Because, um, I decided to do that, <laughs> actually, on, like, day, like, s seven, or farther than I've made it before. Because I'm really excited to actually film the video if I finish. <laughs> no, I'll probably still make the video even if I, like, miss a day. Or, like, stop it. I don't know why I would at this point. Um... But I'm really excited because I've done this challenge before. Well, I haven't finished it. I have started it. I think I've started it three times before this one, actually. So this is like my fourth attempt, actually. Uh, <laughs> it's just that, like, I would get sick of it. <laughs> I would, like, not want to do it anymore after, like, a day. Cause like I just wasn't ready for like commitment at that point. <laughs> but also there are some weird heads and like obviously like I would look ahead. <laughs> I would look um, ahead in like the Pinterest board where all the things are at, where all the heads are at. And I would see some and I did not like them cause like they're just weird like statue sculpture things and um I just never wanted to draw them and <laughs> like I mean it was just like there was like a one day where there was just like six ones in a row that was just these weird random statue guys and it really just made me mad it's like I don't want to do this anymore <laughs> oh I forgot to show you colors for Stella oops um but I haven't quit so far. These are the colors that I used for Stella. By the way, I'll say it's this one on Caspian, and I'll probably use it on Willow and Zola too. That one's just kind of like their eye stuff. So, yeah, and this one actually needs to go to Zola's. Good challenge. Pretty interesting. Uh -huh. 
first day it was pretty easy actually because uh, <laughs> I've drawn all those heads before. <laughs> so it was just kind of like, oh hey, I've done this. It's smooth sailing because like for the first couple days I've drawn all of them because um, I've done it four times now. <laughs> um, and then I started to get to the point where I hadn't actually done them before. And because I hate myself, apparently, um, an added, added challenge on top of it, I decided to do it all in a pen, with a pen. <laughs> so I'm doing it all in blue pen, which I'm kind of sick of using pen. And it's really, really weird to, it's really weird to draw with pencil. So I'm drawing with pencil today. I actually have only done one head today. It sounds really weird. Um, and it's 6.30, but it's fine. Yeah, I'm really excited because I'm planning on showing, like, my progress. So I'm going to show, like, the first, second, third, fourth. I'm just going to show all of my attempts in that video. Sure, if you want to see that. Let me know. Oh, well, I'm going to make it either way. So just get excited. Give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> I'm just thinking... I've been watching, <laughs> you know, not, you can't, you can't judge me too much for this one. I've been watching a lot of Minecraft, and I've been playing a lot of Minecraft, and I actually bought Minecraft again, because I had it actually, like, not to flex or anything, but I had Minecraft back in, like, 2013 or 2014, something like that, so, like, it's almost seven years ago. Not to fall. Oh, I didn't draw her earrings. Oh, sorry, I didn't grab her eye color. And I didn't show her colors. Okay, here are Willow's colors. <laughs> and usually she has earrings, but I apparently forgot about them. So back in like 2014, something like that. I think I was in like fourth or fifth grade. Um, I had gotten a good grade on like my report card thingy and I was like, mom, do you think I could get a game? And she's like, what game? I was like, The Sims 3. And she's like, no. <laughs> she didn't want me to have The Sims 3. And I think, yeah, I think this was even before Sims 4 had come out. Um, I think that came out in 2014. I was like, well... <laughs> Because I think at that time, The Sims 3 was $20, and so was Minecraft. So I was just like, Mom, what do you think about me getting Minecraft? And she was like, fine. <laughs> so I got that, and I used to play it on, like, uh, an old computer we had in my mom's office. So I'd just sit in there and play it all day, and I used to watch, like, um, a bunch of, like, original like OG Minecraft YouTubers, like OG, like Sky Does Minecraft and like Captain Sparkles and like all those people. Um, I think, I didn't know this at the time, but apparently they were all on a team called Team Crafted, which I just recently found out because I watched a history of Minecraft on YouTube video. Don't know why. <laughs> just what my life has come to at this point, I guess. But um, yeah, I was obsessed with those with Minecraft and like I said <laughs> and then I kind of just stopped playing and I tried to log back on one day and forgot the username and password so I was like eh oh well time to cut my losses later then I kind of then I actually did get the sims 4 and the sims 3 um I think in like 2017 and um kind of forgot about minecraft and i started actually watching like sims youtube i was on sims youtube for a while what the hell? and then i got on art youtube once i started doing art and now somehow i'm back on gaming youtube oh my god i don't know where i was going with this oh well i got when i got my playstation i don't remember what year i got it honestly i got minecraft um, and for some reason there's two different types of Minecraft, Minecraft, Java, and Bedrock. Bedrock apparently is the one that's like, 
more well it's it's found more places if that's like what pocket edition is that's what xbox playstation nintendo all those run bedrock um and it's only really like pc computers that run java and i used to play java and when i tried playing bedrock i was just like this is weird but i like continued playing recently i started watching minecraft youtubers again i honestly don't know how i got into that i think i just felt like watching minecraft one day and i had heard of this person called dream <laughs> oh gosh so i started watching his videos and then i was like wow it's pretty funny <laughs> This is after I'd been watching Among Us for a billion years. I think that's why I wanted to watch Minecraft videos. It's because I had watched so much Among Us. Like, I'm still not, like, sick of that game, though. Like, I can still watch... Like, I could still go watch a bunch of videos on Among Us. So, like, I just was, like, at the moment, I was like, I want to watch something new. And I started watching Dream. Mm-hmm. I don't, don't, I don't, it was like, this was like a couple months ago, um, not a couple months ago, this was like early December, maybe late June, not January, late November, early December, that kind of, that's like the time frame we're talking about. I think I had seen Dream, well, not seen Dream, but like, <laughs> Dream was in like an Among Us stream or video that I was watching because I watched so much Among Us. Um, he was in there somewhere and I was like, I think I know who that is. Thank you, Minecraft. And I started watching Minecraft. And I can't stop the stream and <laughs> all of them. Um, <laughs> But one of my friends watches them too, so like, I mean, I'm not alone. <laughs> Literally only told one person this, so two people this, maybe. I started watching, and then it's funny because there has been so many, like, controversies just since I have been watching them. It is so funny, and that is why I don't tell anybody I watch Dream, because the people that people associate dream like fans as are some people honestly like are crazy but they get like just dream fans in general get a bad rap because of those crazy people um because yeah there's a lot of drama going with him right now here is um zola's colors by the way oh i need one more color i need this one so yeah, um, I've been watching that, <laughs> and um, I've been playing, oh yeah, back to the original story, so like I kind of started playing, when did I start right there, um, Minecraft on my PlayStation more, and I realized I didn't like it, <laughs> like I mean just like, I'm not used to it, then again like I wasn't used to Minecraft Java, but I decided to uh, buy Minecraft on my computer, <laughs> so I can officially say that I have bought it three times. <laughs> yeah, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft, probably too much Minecraft. Um, yeah, which is probably one of the reasons that I had a lot of trouble actually wanting to edit videos, a video last week. Um, like, I just didn't want to. Like, I just, I knew I had to, and I just didn't want to. Like, I was just like, I don't want to edit this video, and like, I was procrastinating it so much. So bad, and I felt so bad, because like, I know people watch my videos, like, I just, you know, <laughs> I just felt really bad, because I was like, I'm literally playing Minecraft and not filming a video. Or editing a video because I already had the video freaking filmed because I was in a mood to film, so I went ahead and filmed. <laughs> and it took me a week to edit. It's just, 
yeah, Minecraft has uh, taken over my life. <laughs> Not taken over my life, but distracted me from things I need to do, basically. Which is also a real conveniently why um, a lot of the time, not a lot, but some of the time I'm up to like 11, 12 trying to finish my stupid head challenge because um, I'm about playing freaking Minecraft. <laughs> Like, I'm playing Minecraft until, like, 9 p.m. <laughs> then realize I still need to draw, like, five more heads. I just messed up this eyebrow. Blaming it all on Minecraft. It's all Minecraft's fault. And I take no responsibility. And I'm kidding. Because <laughs> I know it is all my fault. <laughs> yeah, just know I'm not one of those crazy Minecraft stand person. Um, <laughs> just want to put that out there that I am not one of those crazy dream fans. Um, I'm a fan of his Minecraft playing Minecraft videos and I'm a fan of his friends. Um, yeah. um I'm semi-normal. Okay, we're almost done. This video was so long. Oh my gosh, it's gonna take me forever to update, update, um, edit it. It's gonna take me freaking forever. That kind of turned into not a story video. Wow. That quickly turned into me talking about my hobbies. <laughs> recently started adding highlights to the eyes again because I think I like out highlighted myself um <laughs> if that even makes sense um I think I like went too extreme with the highlights and kind of did too much um I kind of got sick of adding highlights so for a little while I stopped but I only recently started adding them back I really like them on like the tip of the nose and like a little bit on the cheeks and like on the eyes. It's like, I mean, it's a good way to bring light to or life to characters, but you can easily like go overboard. And I did personally, I, I just like little tiny highlights like that. To not overwhelm, because some people overwhelm. Anyways, here are my main cast of characters. I actually kind of like how this turned out. The paper didn't do as bad as I um, thought it would. I kind of didn't have my hopes up because I did a, a test um, before, and it didn't. It didn't look like this going to be too good. But I actually kind of like how it turned out. I mean, Stella's face is a little weird, but I also drew this at like. Midnight, maybe. <laughs> I might have to change some stuff about Caspian because they made me look a little bit like siblings, and that would be a little awkward because they are definitely not siblings. <laughs> oh, I guess I never mentioned it, but um, love interests. <laughs> yeah, here is my main cast. I'm gonna go ahead and write all their names down. Okay, Caspian, Stella, Willow. And Zola. So, yay. I love my cast. I think they're very cute. I don't know. I really like, I kind of like this. I might hang it right up somewhere. Uh, yeah. So, let me know. I don't know what to, you should let me know, but let me know. <laughs> let me know if you like this video. Um, and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, yeah. yeah. Gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go. Um, I don't know if people got cold. I need to go. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.
I'll see you guys later. Bye!